A Bond girl is frozen in time. I was frozen in time. I'll always be there up on the screen as I was in 1987. Did I'm you, not going to age. The film will age. <laughs> did you really go down in a cello case? Oh yes I did for two days and I did not like it. I can tell you. We spent two days doing all those sequences going down the cello case. Now all the, the long shots were done by stuntmen but I can tell you that there's a lot of shots that I was doing avoiding to crash into a ravine or avoiding to crash into the camera crew because I had the directions on the cello case. Timothy was sitting in, on, in, the, you know, in one part of the cello case and I wasn't. He was twice my weight. So the thing wanted to go that way and I had to keep it straight going down the slope. I will never forget those two days of shooting in the cello case. That must have been mental. It was slightly mental and it was below freezing. I mean, it was freezing cold. We were in the Austrian mountains shooting the, the, the sequence. But now I look at it with fond memory, you know, and I'd be, when I'd walk to get to the cello case, my, my knees would go into the snow, you know, you'd be like, and then you'd have to wait in between each takes and you'd be freezing cold. So I will never forget that sequence. I know it better than anybody else who's seen the film. I've experienced it. And it was really a cello case. Oh yeah, oh absolutely. What they did, they put um, little skis under the case. Two little skis so that he could slide down the mountain. But the only problem was, is that I was half Timothy's weight. So when we were both in the cello case with the two little skis underneath, the cello case wanted to go this way, as opposed to go straight. And I had the little, I had two little things here to direct the cello case and to keep it going straight. It was a challenge, I'll tell you.